So guys, we all know how much Brawl Stars has evolved in the past year. Club League has been replaced by Megapig, Power League gave way to Ranked, Masteries were introduced, the box system transformed into Star Road and Star Drops, and many more. However, despite all these major updates, there are many features that still need improvement. So, in this video, I will be discussing every aspect in Brawl Stars that currently feels redundant and suggest how the devs can enhance them. Let's dive in. First up, let's discuss the Trophy Road rewards. The rewards on this path are disappointingly low. The power points, coins and credits you earn are insignificant, making grinding for ladder progress unappealing, especially since trophies hold less value now. Supercell did add Mythic and Legendary Star Drops to the path, which is a step in the right direction. However, they should increase credits, coins and power points significantly and add more Mythic and Legendary Drops. It's also odd that Supercell extended the trophy road from 50k to 70k, but didn't add any new rewards at the end. Reaching 70k is no small feat, so players deserve a good reward, such as an exclusive title and a choice of any legendary skin. This would encourage free-to-play players to engage more with the trophy road. Okay, so the next one we are going to talk about is the looking for a team feature. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I don't even remember the last time I used this button. I either just play with randoms or play in a team by inviting players from my friend list or club. And on the rare times I use the feature, it takes decades to find any players to team up with. No, God! No! So, the feature seems to be dead for quite a while now, and it's sad to see because it really has good potential. I'm honestly not sure about how this feature could be reworked, so if you have any ideas, feel free to comment below. With the release of Lily and Draco next month, Brawl Stars will have a staggering 80 brawlers in total, which just a couple of years ago seemed crazy to imagine. So naturally, the brawler menu has also been feeling more and more cluttered with every new character being added in. And at least for me, even with all the filters, I still struggle to find the brawler I'm looking for. So, I think it's about time the devs address this and clean up the brawler selection screen to make it feels less clunky and more organized. The map maker feature was introduced in October 2020 and brought a lot of excitement to the community. It allowed players to create custom maps across different game modes and share them with friends. However, three years later, map maker feels uninspiring. Daily maps often feel repetitive, and the 30 XP reward for completing daily map maker matches is Bruh. meager. The feature has so much potential for further development, such as maybe introducing a mode maker where players can create custom modes with unique rules and modifiers. Just imagine how exciting that would be. The possibilities are endless. Do you remember the last time you clicked on this tab on the lobby screen? No? Yeah, me neither. Brawl TV, which was taken from a similar feature in Clash Royale, is honestly a great concept. To be able to watch the best of the best play, their matches should provide for non-stop entertainment. But every time I go into Brawl TV, there's only a few thousand players actually watching actively. And with a daily player base of millions, that's extremely low. So why is this feature dead? That's a difficult one to answer. But what's for certain is that the devs need to rework it somehow for it to feel more appealing and attractive to the player base. I think merging Brawl TV with Esports somehow would be a cool move. If you have any ideas, leave it in the community. Next, let's discuss Bling. Introduced over a year ago in Brawl Stars, it's been a great addition, allowing free-to-play players to access cosmetics without spending gems, which is fantastic. However, this benefit is undermined by the fact that we receive very little bling to begin with. Take a look at the bling provided from the monthly season reset. It's almost laughable. Unless you're grinding for rank 35 every single month, the bling you receive is practically useless. That's why I believe we need a significant increase in the bling amount at each season reset. The rewards are so low that the bling needs to be increased by three to four times just to be reasonable. 
I hope Supercell addresses this because the current bling rewards offer no incentive for players to push their brawlers to higher trophy levels. How could I end this video without talking about Megapig? While Megapig is more enjoyable than its predecessor Club League, the rewards it offers are really lacking. Given that Megapig is only available once a month, the fixed rewards and star drops aren't substantial enough. The rewards are barely sufficient to upgrade one brawler from power 10 to 11. The amount of effort required, up to 10 games, isn't justified by the current rewards. The developers need to increase the rewards and doubling the fixed coins, power points and bling from a maxed mega pig while keeping the star drops the same should be a decent improvement. That's about it guys. Let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed that you think needs reworking in Brawl Stars. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one. Now is that everything? Yes.